Sunday It's Sunday, 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 Sunday school It's Sunday, 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 Sunday Miss Waynell from that SundaySchoolGirl.com. You already know I am basically like your super cool auntie who just happens to teach Sunday school, and I am here to get you ready for Sunday, November the eighth. How was your week? I know that a lot of you were very, very busy, and that there was a lot going on in the world. I'm sure that people around you have probably been really concerned about some things, and you've probably heard a lot of conversation, and maybe you yourself have been paying attention to what's going on. As we're waiting to find out who our new president will be but I hope that you are not allowing life to worry you knowing that God doesn't want us to worry he wants us to trust him no matter what so whether it's stuff that's going on in school or even if you're watching this stuff in government I don't want you to worry you and I are going to trust God and that he knows what is best for us and how do we know that God loves us and that we can trust him well, because we learned this stuff in Sunday school, right? Okay, and so I am excited that we get to talk about our lesson this week, which is abiding in love. We are still talking about love, and we've learned so much about what it means to love. Listen, if your parent or your teacher has not already done so, make sure that they look down below and get the Kid Pack link for you. I've already put that out, and I think that you will enjoy it and the activities. There's a pretty cool math challenge and all kinds of other fun games, and I want you to make sure that you get a chance to check that out. So listen, we're still looking at the life of Jesus, and I told you last week that this is like the last 24 hours with Jesus. Jesus on earth and I ask you if you only had 24 hours left what would you do who would you hang out with what would you eat what would you want to talk about well Jesus is still helping his disciples know what they needed to be successful he didn't want them to worry when he was gone just like I told you and he wanted them to know how important it would be to stay connected you know sometimes if you think about like when the teacher leaves the room what happens? Not like just in your virtual classroom, but remember being in school last year, what would happen when the teacher left the room? Did all the students keep doing their work? Did you have people who would talk and cut up? Well, Jesus kind of knew that when he was going to be gone, the disciples would need to know what to do, how to act. And he wanted them to know that even when the teacher is gone, you should act like the teacher is still there. You should still behave in the ways that you would if your teacher were there. And so he says, I want you to abide in me. That's a big word that just means stay with me. Stay with doing the right thing. And you and I have to do the right thing, not because somebody is watching us, but because it is the right thing to do. He says that if you stay connected to me and let me stay in you, everything is really going to be okay. He also talks about when we stay connected to him, that we are supposed to produce fruit. Now you probably have a favorite fruit. What's your favorite fruit? I bought fruit at the store last week and my favorite fruit is actually um, pears. I love pears. I like it when they're kind of soft. Um, my second favorite fruit is pineapple. Now I know those are really sweet fruits, but those are my two and I love them. I make smoothies out of fruits. I do all kinds of things. Well, Jesus says that you and I like the trees that produce the fruits that we love, we're supposed to produce fruit, things that are the output of growth. You and I should always be learning and growing and producing good things. He talks about what happens. If you've ever seen a grapevine before, my mom, there comes a car, here comes a car. Ah, that was a loud car. But my mom in the backyard has a big garden and she also has grapevines. And so that's what I thought about with this lesson when Jesus talks about he is the vine and he talks about being connected. And not only is he the vine, but you see these trees behind me? He says that we are the branches. We are the branches that come off of his vine. What does it mean that we're branches? Well, we're not literally on trees, but it means that we represent him. We are kind of the extension of him and we are supposed to produce good things. He talks about what it means to be cut off. What does it mean if a branch falls off? Now, right now I'm trying to look around in my neighborhood. I don't know what your neighborhood looks like, but you know it's fall, right? And so we are seeing things that are getting disconnected. Now Jesus talks about branches, but let's just look at what happens when something is disconnected. If you can see over there in my neighbor's yard, 
There are all kinds of leaves that have fallen. They are no longer on the tree. Now, as long as they're on the tree, notice that they are alive and all summer, all spring, they've been green and now they're starting to fall off. And when they fall off, they fall, they're turning yellow first and then they're falling off and they're this yellow color. And right now, this one is still kind of soft. I can kind of feel like um, it still bends. I can kind of tell that it's still got a little life in it. But if you leave these off the tree for a few days, no pun intended, leave the leaves off the tree, well, what happens? Well, they change and they dry up and they shrivel up and they'll crumble up. They're not the same. Look at that. See how they just crumble up? There's something different. If we don't stay connected, we won't live for long. Notice how that one doesn't quite crumble, but these that have been off for a long time, because they're not connected to the tree, they're not connected to the thing that feeds them, they're not connected to what keeps it healthy, they're not connected to what gives it life, then the Bible says when you don't stay connected, you are just like wood. Wood that's been, it's fallen off the tree and it's just turned into old dry wood like those leaves and you're not good for anything but to be put into the fire. You are firewood if you are not connected to God. What does it also mean for us to be connected? Well, he talks again about love and how important it is for us to do what he's commanded, and that is to love one another, to love other people. That's what the Father has commanded. Just like Jesus loved us, we are to love other people. And sometimes love even means showing grace to other people. And so he says this, and I love this, this is my favorite part. What does it mean to be God's friend? Do you realize that you're a friend of God? And I'm a friend of God. And how do we know that? Well, he says, because I'm giving you these instructions. Like I wouldn't give these to just anybody, but you are my friends. And so he gives us this because he wants us to know what the father says. What does God want from us? Jesus says that. And then he tells us that he chose us. You are chosen by God. You are chosen to do what? to do something special. You are chosen to produce fruit. You are chosen to be amazing. You are chosen to do something great. And what God has chosen you to do, nobody else in this world can do it like he has given you to do it. So I want you to know that he loves you, know that he's chosen you, and know that we are to love one another. And we are his branches. We are his extensions. We are his, his representatives. And that is how others know about God in the earth. Here is what I really want for you to remember, that we can stay connected to Jesus. How do we stay connected to Jesus? Well, we do it by going through our Sunday school lessons together. We do it when we read our Bibles. We do it when we sing worship songs. We do it when we are sharing with others about Jesus. We are staying connected. Even when we pray, that is connecting with Jesus. Remember that fruit that stays connected to the vine will continue to grow. Things that fall off the vine, they're ultimately, they're going to turn colors and then they're going to get all dry and they shrivel up and they're good for nothing. Do you hear that crumbly sound? Good for nothing. When we disconnect from God, just like these leaves, they're gonna wither up and we'll die just like this. If we disconnect from God, that's us right there. We'll disconnect, we'll die, we'll wither up. But God wants us to produce and he doesn't want us just to produce a little fruit. We're supposed to produce a lot of fruit that people can see and they know what they see by the love that we show for other people. So God wants us to love each other. He wants us to be generous. He wants us to be kind. He wants us to have a relationship with you. Just remember that God calls you friend. I am glad that I am a friend of God. You're a friend of God. And I'm glad that we have each other. I love you guys so much. I'll see you next week for Sunday School. Bye-bye. Sunday school with that Sunday school.